This is the interactive figure, partial derivatives as slopes of tangent lines. In this figure, we will get a graphical sense of what the partial derivative means. When the figure opens, a surface is given to us in the 3D window that I can drag around, and there's a point on that surface. The surface is given by the function f of xy equals sine of x times cosine of xy. There's a point on the surface, and I can move the point by using the small sliders. So let's move the point back to where it was originally, 1.3. Now those only show the x, y values, they don't show the z value of the point, but the x and y values are the ones that concern us the most. What happens if I take a cross section of this picture showing what happens to the z value as x increases? So my cross section is parallel to the xz plane. And in fact, I can see that if my x value increases, the z value will also increase. So if from that uh, yellow point I move to the right, I move in the positive x direction, then yes, my z values will increase. This cross section is shown in the bottom right, and the expression at the bottom shows me my partial derivative with respect to x. That is f sub x of 1.3 equals 0 0.44. So that's the slope. As x increases, the rate of change of z is 0.44. Take care to notice the labels on the axes here. I have the x-axis and z-axis. Moving the point around will give me different, uh, different cross-sections and different ideas of that derivative with respect to x. What about the derivative with respect to y? Let me take a different cross section, and now I ask myself, if I'm standing at the yellow point on the surface, and I move only in the positive y direction, what kind of a slope will I encounter? And it is a slightly negative slope. I can see from the cross section on the picture down below that I have the y-axis and z-axis, and so the rate of change of z with respect to y is negative 0.19. f sub y of 0.61 equals negative 0.19. In this interactive figure, there are three examples that you can select from using the slider at the top. And for each of these, you look at the cross sections and get a sense of the partial derivatives. And of course, you can also type in your own functions as well. Let's say, for example, f of x equals 2 minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. Move the point around, look at some cross sections, and see for yourself how the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y are reflected in the figure.